and the derivative of multiplier of two sector model. And when we talk about multiplier, we are talking about a, a number of time which an investment multiplies itself in a given period of time. It means that we are looking at the number of time which an investment injected in an economy, you know, multiplies itself given a period of time. For instance, let's assume last year we injected $2,000 in the economy and by this year we can take the effect of that uh, investment that by how much has that investment of $2,000 multiplied itself this year? That is, what is the worth of that investment at the moment? So, multiplier tells us the number of times which an investment or an injection multiplies itself and how has, how has it affected the economy by how much has it added to the economy? That is what multiplier is talking about. And we are looking at multiplier of two sector model in this video. Now, when you say two, uh, two sector model, we are looking at economy that uh, we only have uh, we only have individuals and firms where there is no government and the income function will become y become y equals c plus i so the income is between the consumption household and investment and that is fair now if we have injection we want to look at the multiplier multiplier now how to derive the multiplier of this economy so if there is increase in investments now we are expecting it to affect the income so that there will be increase in income so we write our change in income which is increase in income equal the change in consumption plus change in investment now when we have this now then we can simply write again change in income equals now let's look at this consumption consumption function is a plus b y don't forget that this is autonomous consumption it doesn't change so we don't have business there is no any increase in this this is not going to be affected now now when you look at it will be marginal offense to consume so it's not going to be affected here what is going to be affected in the whole of consumption function is just this one so we can write it as c equals uh, c equals b will not be affected change in y so that is what we are going to put here so we are going to put change and we are going to put marginal offense to consume b change in y then instead of writing the whole of change in consumption here, we've removed that uh, uh, autonomous consumption. So we put plus change in investment. Now, having done this now, so we can collect the like terms now. Change in y, y become here, y is here, y become here. This plus will become minus here. Change in b, uh, b change in y equals change in investment. Having done this now, we can factor out y because y is here y is also here isn't it what can we even we have change in y here we have change in y here so what's common between these two values is a uh, change in y so let's take change in y bracket if you say change in y divided by the whole of this one will be one then put the minus back if you say change in y now b change in y divided by change in y you see this we cancel out this we are going to have only b left so that's why we are having b you know we use that word to use to factor what we factor out to divide this and to divide this. If we divide in this, it's going to be 1. If we divide this change in y by, but this b change in y divided by change in y is going to give us only b because we have b left. Now we can put our equal sign change in investment. Let me continue from here. Now, having done this, now we can divide both sides. Let me write this change in y, change in y, bracket 1 minus b bracket equals change in investment. So we can have divide both sides by 1 minus b, sorry, 1 minus b, 1 minus b. This we cancel out this, this we cancel out. So we're going to be having change in y equals change in investment over 1 minus b. So at this point now, we divide both sides. Divide, divide both sides by change in investment so we divide this side by change in investment we divide this side by change in investment so we're going to have a change in y divided by change in investment equal change in investment which is here over 1 minus b divided by change in change in investment change in investment now if we define this by change in investment you'll be having change in y over change in investment equals 1 upon 1, 1 upon 1 minus b. Now, how do we get that? If you do this, let, let me do the rough work of this one. Let me do the rough, let, let me rough up this one. So, I want to show you 
this particular one. I want to show you this particular one. So how we get that? This is how we do it. So if you say change in investment over one minus b, you now become times one over change in investment. Division will change to times, you know. Then this we cancel out this. So you're going to have only one here now. One times one, one over this one. One minus b times one that is here now. One is going to remain here. When this one cancels out, it's good. One minus b. That's how we have one minus b. And that's our multiplier of two sectors. Thank you. Please subscribe and get more of our video. Thank you.